Hi, my name is Simon Drake. I'm the seed investor, co-founder, and managing director of Space Ventures Investors. Space Ventures Investors is a shareholder-driven company that invests in joint ventures and innovative space companies. Our operations are to build the strategic space value chain from the Earth to the Moon by focusing right now on what's practical, profitable and realistic. Space commerce is existing infrastructure. We use space commerce technology every day, from navigation to Earth observation to connectivity. It's interwoven in society, profitable and always improving. The challenges for existing companies and startups is to commercialize terabytes of upstream data to niche downstream markets. Space commerce only exists because the infrastructure is already in place. There are thousands of satellites of various sizes, concentrated mostly in low Earth orbit or out in geosynchronous orbit. Aerospace, launch and satellite communications companies have built this infrastructure and focus on servicing and improving their existing technology, such as developing reusable rockets, better satellites, and satellite servicing. In early 2019, we formed a joint venture, the Space Commodities Exchange. The near-term goal is to buy, hold, and trade Earth-launched commodities like propulsion used for refueling satellites. Future goals are the trading of space resources. Space resources is mining or harvesting of resources to be used in space. To get started in this new industry, we follow demand and start with practical. The nearest source of space resources is three days away. All major space agencies are planning lunar operations. To maintain a presence, they'll need to utilise the resources on the surface rather than hauling them from Earth. The formation of the Earth and the Moon suggests we share the same origins. And even though the moon has no atmosphere, it has weathering. The surface is constantly bombarded and eventually pulverized by all kinds of asteroids. About 5% of them are metallic type asteroids. In the last few decades, various space agencies and their lunar orbit emissions have scanned the surface. From this abundance of data, we can identify the locations of resources. We are now registering space agency landing sites and interests plus commercial rights to explore and extract resources. There are two main drivers. The first is in situ resources utilization. That is the extraction of resources like oxygen, hydrogen and metals from the lunar surface for use in space. The second is rare and precious metals. Valuable minerals are on the moon, but the technology to extract them is still being developed cost is a major factor. However, the environmental cost on Earth to extract rare metals is increasing, while the cost to do so in space is decreasing. As part of our space resources business, we're developing a legal framework for establishing lunar commercial rights for resource exploration and extraction. Under the United Nations Outer Space Treaty, you can't own property in space but forward-thinking governments have developed laws relating to space resources. We're developing business models that adhere to legal frameworks like the Outer Space Treaty and the Artemis Accords in order to make space resources an investable industry. Our current spin-off is the Lunar Resources Registry. This is a registry for public and private organisations of their intent and right to explore and extract resources. We are commoditizing the lunar surface, searching for and leveraging valuable resources. The end goal is an Earth to Moon economy. It's an exciting time to be building a space focused business. Progress as always takes commitment and if you are young and motivated, there will be new off-world career choices. Thanks for watching.